Hi everyone, we welcome you to another interesting episode of How to Ace the Hackathon. I, Arindam, on behalf of entire Innovation Cell and Smart India Hackathon Implementation Team, welcome you to this interesting talk session with one of our SIH alumni and the winner of SIH 2022 edition. Without further ado, let's listen to him and let to, let's get some of the tips and tricks on how you can crack this hackathon. So Sujal, welcome to the show. How are you? Uh, thank you. Thank you for such a warm welcome. I am doing great. Uh, Good. Thanks. Good to see you after 2022 edition. Uh, first of all, how the life has changed after being a winner of Smart India Hackathon? Yeah, so being an SAH winner is a really great addition, both on resume and on LinkedIn. And that's something you can always add in your introduction whenever you're giving your interviews and even when you're in introducing yourself to someone to impress them. Uh, also, we get many more opportunities later on uh, after winning the hackathon. So that's a really great add-on. Yeah. So Sujal, which ministry, for which ministry did you uh, give the solution for? Can you brief a little about the problem statement and how did you understand what exactly the problem statement was demanding. It will ease the process for the newcomers while they select the problem statement. Problem statement was given by my department. Uh, it was related to uh, the enrolling and unenrolling of the schemes. So using a platform, the normal citizens can know what government schemes, both state and central schemes they're eligible for and can easily enroll and unenroll for the same. Obviously, some of the schemes would require documents and for that also our platform can be used. They can just upload the documents and they can be verified at the back end. So, yeah. uh, so did you, while you were making the prototype for the ministry, did you, to be very honestly, did you feel that you solved the real time problem the ministry is facing? Yeah, actually. So uh, the thing is that uh, while having some small pet projects in college, it they are more for learning and you don't think that you're contributing much. But when you participate in a hackathon as such and you get a problem statement that actually affects many people in our country. So you feel that you're actually contributing towards something. And uh, later on, if somebody tries to pick up your prototype and convert it into a real project, so many people can be affected and can gain advantage out of it. So it, fe it feels great. Right, a sense of responsibility while you are making that prototype, right, isn't it? So Sujal, it brings me to another important question and a parameter of Smart India Hackathon 2023. While you were preparing your team or you were formulating your team, what were the key characteristics and the features that you made sure that your team member should have while they are being a part of your team? Yeah, so that is actually a really great question because juniors also ask regarding the same. So I always say that do not try to make a, a team just based on friendship. Try to make a team that has a diverse quality. So you, because uh, uh, any hackathon is just not about making a technical prototype. Uh, hackathon is also a presentation and being able to explain to the judges what you have made and how it can be used. Good PPTs are not overrated, so they're actually required. So while making a team, make sure that you have people who do understand the non-technical aspects related to the problem statement. And obviously then, because you're supposed to make a technical prototype, you also need people who are good in both backend and frontend or frontend. Uh, as an added advantage, it is always good to have somebody who may know maybe ML or blockchain or cloud computing because these add something to your tech stack and uh, tell to the judges that uh, you have really been into the problem and found something unique in terms of a solution. Sujal, coming on to the next question, did you felt the importance of having a good mentor as well while you were working on your prototype or during the grand finale? Yeah, so uh, while uh, we were making a prototype, so earlier before we reached the destination, mostly our mentorship was coming from our college professors. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, our professors could not join us to the grand finale in Nepal. So um, there were mentors provided uh, at the site also, and they were really helpful. 
so the reason i'm saying this is because that uh, we as participants don't always know what is the perspective that is coming from the teachers the mentors like uh, have been at that position of uh, have been at the position of participating in sih and they know uh, how to win them so at that critical time uh, having somebody to mentor you really helps a lot they are able to tell you how to present your stuff what is the role of a captain or uh, a team leader so yeah that is really helpful right uh, that brings to the next question i was about to ask the being a team leader what kind of challenges did you face or uh, what kind of learning that you would like to give for these first time uh, team leaders that will be leading their teams for the smart india hackathon yeah so uh, one thing i will say is that uh, i guess when you all made teams you kind of uh, knew who all people you were taking in the team so every team uh, functions differently i have uh, led a different team in a different hackathon before but sas was an entirely different experience because people varied and when people vary the dynamics vary a lot so uh, one thing i can say is that keep your calm always uh, even if some part of your team isn't functioning properly uh, being angry or just losing your temper and going to work uh, your task as a leader is how to get the best out of every team member and at the same time try to mint, uh, try to ensure that your team members also trust you because it is not a one way road if your team members trust you then only uh, a team can function properly so make sure that everybody in the team is happy they trust you uh, and the most important thing is you should know what they are good at because if you are assigning tasks without knowing what who is good at what you won't be able to get good results so make sure that right right very well said teamwork is the key thing that is required for the entire sih uh, also if i am not wrong you had uh, design mentors also during the grand finale yeah so we did get a uh, mentorship regarding a de- design uh, so that was a hard hit because we got to know that in terms of design we were not starting to create but after getting the mentorship and also judges also because there are multiple round of uh, judging so you know one of the round judges also said that uh, our designs don't look that great so uh, having got the mentorship regarding the same really helped us because uh, building such a prototype that actually speaks to the consumer was the first time for all of us hmm. so yeah knowing what consumers would respond great to us is something we got to really learn a lot through our mentors right right so this brings to another important point that the team members and the team leaders should make sure that they should also work on the design they should take care and special put attention towards the design of the prototype because even it could be a very wonderful idea but if it does not fit or have a good design to it you know some point of the time it may lead you to not win the hackathon i want to understand after winning the hackathon and now that you're working already so what kind of a learning that smart india hackathon has given you in in terms of your uh, uh, professional life yeah so uh, after winning sah uh, i also participated in another hackathon that is uh, that you can participate only if you win sah uh, having been part of such wonderful hackathons like smart india hackathon and then india africa hackathon really gives you great exposure for i would say more than technical part it incre- it improves your people skills and those are really required in any work environment because technical skills can be learned from youtube youtube and other platforms also but knowing how to interact with people and how to really work in a team that is a skill you can acquire only with practice and exposure so do participation participate in such hackathons not just for technical exposure obviously that would be there but to know how to present yeah. yourself how to present your work and how to work with people right so, yeah. and also in terms of networking did you had a chance you know to network with your peers from different colleges and and also the industry experts who were the evaluators tell me something about it yeah so i, I think that during smart india hackathon i was a little bit in my shell so uh, i was more involved in the hackathon prototype and such but uh, during the next hackathon that is in uh, india africa hackathon i took up pledge in a way that i would get out of my shell and would network with everyone 
so i really talked to many people and even the judges and even the mentors and i would advise everyone that uh, try to get off your sh- uh, out of your shell and try to interact with as many people as you can because you get to learn out many people many things that they're going through in terms of their technical uh, stuff and their profession and their college journey and it's always good to connect to different people on linkedin and uh, your judges and your mentors uh, have great technical knowledge so getting to know uh, someone like them and connecting with them on linkedin is really helpful right right wonderful sujal uh, tell me or tell the audience a little bit about uh, the post experience that smart india hackathon after winning what kind of opportunities does uh, you know the ministry provides you if you can brief a little bit about that as well Yeah, uh, sure. So as I said, one of them that uh, as the winners, you get the opportunity to participate into multiple international hackathons, and those are really great. Like uh, I participated in one of them, uh, India Africa Hackathon, and uh, it was a team that was mixed of mix of Indians and Africans, and getting to know people from other country altogether and different culture was a great experience. And I never actually expected to be. uh there and meeting such people before uh like before winning smart in a hackathon there are more hackathons uh which i couldn't participate and fortunately because of some commitments but i would uh, recommend that if you win and if you get the opportunity to participate in international hackathons do fill out the forms don't be lazy about them also uh ministry provides a uh, ministry provide uh emails you um uh, further approaches you because if your prototype has the potential of winning a hackathon then it can also has the potential of turning into something really great again uh, our team was a little uh, busy with the placements and then with the corporate life and interns so we couldn't pursue that but if you get the opportunity to pursue it it would be a great addition to your resume and linkedin not just limited to your resume but of course to your you know contribution towards nation building as well it gives you a sense of you know accomplishment that you are actually working or helping such a big ministry in developing a prototype and actually implementing it on the real time scenario so that's that's a really great achievement that one can have uh, sujal i would like to conclude by understanding or letting you speak about a couple of tricks and tips because most of the participants who are watching us live right now would be more interested you know in uh, cutting the story short and understanding if you want to win the hackathon what would be the tips and tricks few master tricks from your side to crack this hackathon so so one most important thing that we kind of touched in the interview already but i would like to reiterate is that ui matters a lot because if uh, your users aren't being able to interact with the website then it is not much of any use uh secondly uh, apart from ui see try to understand the problem statement do not just try to add special stacks such as ml or uh blockchain without understanding what the problem really needs you to do. Uh, do add stuff if you think that is actually helpful because at the end of the day if a judge asks you say that why have you added this that what is the role of this particular ml model and you just say that it felt great it won't be a good answer so you should know everything about your project from the start till end obviously uh, if you are uh, if you are in back end you might not know about the technical details of the front end and vice versa so that is not a problem you should know your part, part properly and what are the features features matter a lot uh so yeah apart from the person who is doing the non technical research uh the project everyone else should also know about why this project matters and how is this being able to solve the problem uh that is being thrown at you so understand problem make great ui and present well so yeah that would be the key to in any hackathon i would say and particularly as such very well said sujal uh it was indeed a pleasure talking to you and understanding your mind towards this uh, smart india hackathon and of course i think this would benefit the first timers for this of course uh with this we wish you good luck for your future projects and hope to see you soon as one of the mentors or one of the projects that we are part of till then have a good time and a good life thank you so much
थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी थैंक यू फॉर द प्लेटफॉर्म एंड थैंक यू फॉर द विशेष थैंक यू people that was surreal for you the one best thing that i came to learn or maybe you also might have highlighted is it is very important to come out of your shell you know smart india hackathon is just not a platform about cracking or providing a solution but yes of course networking also so always keep on mind whenever you are coming for smart india hackathon 2023 with this we take a leave and we promise you to come up with such more interesting videos soon till then have a great day and a good life see you